Hey, it's Second Soundwave, and today I'm going to be unboxing the kit that I just got at Bangor Toy and Comic Con. This is the Gion from Reconguista and G. Now, I kind of took a shot in the dark with this kit. I'm not really familiar with the G-Reco line. Um, it was pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. I mean, it's got like those big uh, beam saber toting hands on the back. That's pretty awesome. Piloted by a guy. I don't know. I mean, I only watched like three episodes of g -Reco. It looked pretty awful, so I didn't continue. Um, I got this from a Weekend Anime's booth. This was looked like a pretty cool kit. They had some other stuff. They had like the Tri-Burning. They had the uh, G-Lucifer as well. G-Portent. Um, they had a, the, one of those SD Samurai kits that like turns into the big robot. I can't remember the name of it. Probably I'm sure one of you does. Uh, they had the original Bear Guy kit. Um, they had some Master Grades too. And I thought about getting, thought very briefly about getting the uh, Death Scythe Hell, but I decided it'd be a bad idea to blow all my money on a single kit. So I got this, and I'm glad I did because I found something else very cool there that I otherwise wouldn't have been able to get. So yeah, enough about how I got this. Uh, let's move on to the unboxing. So opening this up, and this is about as far as I've taken this before. Uh, you see that it does have stickers. Um, got some big ones. I'm pretty sure these probably... I think these go over like those chest... those, uh... as uh, these... chest areas right here. I think those are com like completely stickered, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, those big white sections, I don't know where those go. Those green ones, I think, go on the top of the hands. Like, you know, the big backpack hands. Uh, some little black and green stuff, eyes. Actually, no, not eyes. Face. I actually forgot that about this kit, but this kit's entire face is a sticker. But in this um, bag of lovely plastic, we have um, first of all the trademark of this kit, which is a buttload of beam sabers. A lot of these. That looks like a totally new screw. Um, we got. I just take this whole thing out of the bag. We got close-up look at that sticker sheet. Uh, not sure what I think about that yet. Um, good selection of parts here. Uh, mm, this is like not actually white, it's like a grayish off-white color. It actually looks pretty nice. It's a nice refreshing take. Part of why I got this is because of the colors, because it just has such a unique color scheme. I mean, it's all like purples and lavenders and bluish grays and stuff. Uh, here's the frame sprue. Uh, it's not ABS, obviously, because this is a modern kit. Uh, good assortment of stuff. I see some things that probably should be polycaps, but they're not. That concerns me, because, like I've said before, the, some of the newer kits don't use polycaps as heavily as they used to. But, um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes once I build it. Uh, good assortment of parts there. Oh, that's cool. We actually do get some uh, translucent green for... Actually, I was wrong. Those pieces of the gray green parts on the back are not stickers. They are those translucent green parts, which is pretty sweet, because I thought those were going to have to be stickers. So yeah, these are going to be embedded inside those back hands. Um, this is the G-Sprue. Looks pretty sweet. Nice translucent green color. Same. Looks like the same green that was used for the uh, some of the parts. I think like the center core from the Wing Gundam Honu, so that's kind of neat. Here's the purple sprue. Um, some disappointingly large parts. Uh, these being one piece is kind of why. I mean, they could have so easily broken this up, made a more complex build. But all these g Rico kits seem to be really simple. I'm not sure what I think about that. They could turn out to be great beginner kits, or they could turn out to be horrible beginner kits because they have so many stickers. I don't know. I'm going to build one of these, possibly partially on screen, for my uh, Beginner's Gun Plus series, and see how this goes. But that's my hand parts. Nice deep purple. I like the purple they're using here. I wouldn't actually call it deep, though. It's like a, la a, a dark lavender color. Um, I like it. And yes, I have to come up with lots of creative ways to say purple in this because there's so many shades of purple. This is like the third one so far. Um, I'm going to have to start making up new words soon. And um, I have no idea if my sort of explanation of all Gundam Project video has been released by this point, but 
you can tell by the fact that this has a very small um, polycap sprue. It's a small type. This is a all gun and project style kit in its build, which means that there's not a whole lot of polycaps. So my concerns were right about uh, those parts being polycap sub polycap substitutes. Now, here's this sprue right here. It is. Is it the same? Yeah, it's the same color as the C sprue. So, this is the same color as those hand parts. This is the fingers, the uh, thumbs. This pretty much looks like entirely backpack parts. You have two identical B sprues like that. And one final bag to go over. Wow, these are tough to open. And it is. Okay, something just. Okay, two somethings just rolled out of the bottom of the bag. Let me deal with that. Okay, this looks like uh, just a couple of the... Uh, where's the other one? Uh, here it is. A couple of the pieces got knocked off the sprue. Uh, they look like they're intact enough, though, so I'll just leave them down there. But yeah, this looks like a... This is the D2 sprue. Uh, it looks like a partial sprue. Uh, D1 was a full... Oh, you know what this is? This is just a, like, second half of this sprue, so they'll do that sometimes. They'll include, like, a second duplicate half sprue. And then E2, which looks like a copy of B, but it's not. It's similar, but it's not the same sprue. Actually, no, you know what it is? Again, it's one of those duplicate sprues. It has the parts that are shared from the other sprue, so it's... So that bag was basically the uh, duplicates. And then finally, if I make sure to keep those in the box, here we got the manual. Pretty sweet manual. Oh, I like the back. I've never seen the back of one of these G-Reco manuals. It's got a nice deep blue color. Cool poses. Uh, thing about the world. And I'm, last time I checked, that's not what the world looked like. But if they say so, I guess it is. Uh, that guy, who I don't really like the look of. He looks very untrustworthy. I'm assuming this is a villain suit. Uh... We got some action posing. Uh, I like the uh, Jahaman on. That one looks kind of interesting. I might try to pick that up sometime if I like how this kit came out. See some shots of it. Uh, that's probably what those big white stickers are, is those sections there. Uh, looks decent. They're showing off the hand articulation. Painting guide. Uh, runner list. Oh, I'm glad I opened this, because... Uh, I didn't know that they use like a master grade style differentiate, differentiating system in the G Reco manuals now. Because that's like what the MGs do where they show you like what you're building, what you're going to build when you're building. I also noticed that it looks like they've, um, looks like they might have gotten rid of those symbols. Yeah, they've gotten rid of the symbols. Like there's no longer the, uh, if you remember my beginner's guide to gunplay, I was talking about how they use symbols like they have an undergating symbol. They have a stick, put a sticker here symbol. They have a turn this piece symbol. Now, if you look there, there's a place where you're obviously putting on a sticker, but there's no sticker symbol. And there's no sort of glossary of them in the beginning, which means that they're, looks like they're phasing that out. Or at least they're experimenting with phasing it out. I'm not really sure what to think of that, but it's certainly interesting. Oh, and there's a uh, color, two color pages as well. And that looks like, so it looks like there's a sticker and then a green piece over it. So I was kind of right, kind of wrong. Shows how to pull the beams in. Uh, rifle and... Apparently it can go on a stand. For a second I thought it had a stand, but apparently it does not. So, that is the Gion. Gion? I think it's the Gion. From Gundam Reconquista in G. I will be building and reviewing this fairly soon. Probably not immediately, but certainly soon. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.